Word, you guys. Got another video here for you on how to troubleshoot and fix a internet connection problem on a computer. This is Windows 10, and a lot of people suffer with internet issues, so I thought I'd make a video showing you some basic steps you can take to try and troubleshoot your internet issue. Open up the command prompt by typing CMD in the search box and run that as administrator. The first thing we're going to look at is the ping command. Now, ping is used quite a lot uh, with uh, IT support and you can see here I'm going to ping 888 which is the DNS um, address which is for Google and you can see we're getting a result getting four replies back here and what we're looking for here is the milliseconds maximum milliseconds and average milliseconds also lots of packets on here as well you can also ping a URL as you can see google.com we've uh, pinged that there and we've got a result coming back here you can also ping a IP address for an IP camera or, for instance, uh, an IP device on your network. All you're looking for here is the packets sent, packets received, and the amount of packet loss. If you've got packet loss, then you've got a problem with your network settings. Let's quickly put in an IP address here. And this can be an IP address of your choice. You should get a little quick reply here. And if everything goes well and you've got really low a millisecond return here and also no packet lost you should be pretty much good to go next up we're looking at trace root which is t-r-a-c-e-r-t -E space and then the web address or ip address or whatever it is you want to do a trace route on and what that does is basically tells you what network device is between one point and another it sends out three packets of data and then you'll get them back and receive them just like you see here one millisecond, two millisecond, and one millisecond, and so on. It'll go through a bunch of different hops, and you'll get the end result. And it's a good way to help you diagnose and troubleshoot routing issues uh, on your network. And it's a good way of finding that out because obviously you'll get all the information here from uh, a bunch of different ops here, which you can actually see on the screen. You will get the odd request timeout. Don't worry about those. But basically, you're looking for the milliseconds here, which is your minimum, average, and, and uh, maximum. And you're looking for a really good, nice, clean uh, route all the way through here. If you've got something that gets uh, snagged along the way and it goes right up to, say, four, five hundred, six hundred, and you're getting those slow responses, that's a sign that there's a problem. And it could be on a certain hop that you're actually seeing along the way there. So that is the trace route command. Very useful. Uh, for troubleshooting and diagnosing issues. So it's invaluable to uh, technicians who want to try to troubleshoot any sort of network issues with your PC, whether you've got some sort of problem going on, you can use the trace route command to uh, narrow that down and find out where the problem is, whether it's on your side or whether it's uh, uh, the, the actual ISP side and things like that by looking at the path all the way through there. So it's quite a good little tool uh, to use. Now, another one that we're going to be taking a look at here, which is IP config. Now, all these free commands are really essential uh, to uh, troubleshooting and fixing problems uh, as an IT uh, guy. So we're going to take a look at that one, which is IP config. And what this does is provide all the uh, IPv4 uh, information and also IPv6 information, MAC addresses, a DNS servers, and all that sort of stuff, default gateways, and loads of other information that you can do here. You can see it listed on the screen here. You can see Ethernet adapter. Uh, that's all the Ethernet adapter information. And also you've got some VMware information on there, your Bluetooth network connection, and a bunch of other stuff on there as well, like your subnet mask, your default gateway, and other information, which is quite useful uh, to know. Now, also you've got the IP config uh, space forward slash all and this will give you a lot more information on the ip version 4 and also ip version 6 mac addresses and stuff like that so let's put that in and take a look at what sort of information that gives us so you can see here it gives us the description here realtek gaming gbe family controller it gives you your physical address your dhcp enabled yes and you can see auto configuration is enabled Gives you the DNS server, also tells you the IP routing enabled and WINS proxy enabled and gives you some other information on there as well, which is quite useful. So that is the IP config space forward slash all command, which is quite useful. Let's move on to the other one, which is NS lookup, which is quite a useful one. You can do NS lookup space 
0.10. That's an IP address that I'm just doing a quick search on here. And you can see here, it gives me uh, Virgin Media. And it gives you also the address here. Uh, gives you another address. So you can also do a lookup on that if you wanted to. Also, it says non-existent uh, domain here. So let's try and have one with a domain here. So we're going to do that same command. We're going to do NS lookup. And then we'll give it a domain to look up. So NS lookup space uh, Bright Tech Computers. Let's do that one. Uh, .co.uk. And see what sort of answer that returns for us. So let's give, go and have a look. Uh, you can see the answer here. Name, brightechcomputers.co.uk and address 178.62.80.118. Now, if we do an NS lookup on that IP address, we'll see who that belongs to. So let's go ahead and put NS lookup and we could do space 178.62 and we can do .80 and .118 and just push enter and see who that belongs to. So you can now see that belongs to uh, gatewayapps.com and there's a number in front of it there and it also gives us the address there. And you can see that gives us some information on the NS lookup. So a good way to uh, find out IP addresses that are associated with certain domain names. So let's go ahead and put NS lookup here and we'll do www.google.com and that should give us some information about that as well. And you can see here we've got an IP address now. So we can now get that IP address and do the same thing. And it will give us some more information. So let's go ahead and quickly put that in here just to give you an idea of how that works. So we just do 58.213.4. And then we push enter. And there we go. We've got the uh, numbers and letters there and also .NET for that as well. Okay, so we've done all that. Let's now take a look at uh, fixing something. We can reset the network devices and network stack on a computer by typing in here ipconfig space forward slash release, push enter, and this will uh, release it. So you can see now we've got this released. Now I need to do ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And what that will do is that will flush the DNS so we're going to go ahead and do that. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. We can do that. Next, we need to go IP config and then space forward slash renew. And this will renew that for us. So go ahead and push renew. And that will take a bit of time. So that now populates that. And all we need to do now is type out our next command, which is going to be NETSH and then space INT and then space IP then reset, push enter. And then once we push enter, you should see a bunch of information coming up here saying it's okay, it's all been reset, which is good. We can now move on to the next part, which is NET SH and then WinSock. And then we can do reset as well. And once we've done this, we can then reboot the computer and then that will reset our network stack and do the whole thing. And hopefully that resolves any issues that you're having with your network. So you can now restart the computer, which I'll do here. So assuming that you've just restarted your computer, next up, I'm gonna right click on the start button and go device manager here. Now, if you're having issues with network drivers and you wanna find your network driver and you don't know what it is, you can go to device manager, network adapters, find your driver. It may have a yellow exclamation mark there or something like that, right click on it, and go properties and then you can go to the details go into property and then go to hardware ids and that hardware id is the hardware id for your network driver you can do a search for that on google and basically when you do that you should come up with something like driver identifier or something like that and it will tell you uh, where you can get that driver from now you could get it from your motherboard manufacturer but you can see them all listed here and you can choose where to download that from. At least it gives you some information on what driver that is. It's a Realtek driver, and I would advise you to go to the Realtek website or the motherboard manufacturer's website and download that exact driver for that particular hardware ID, and everything should be working just fine. Just download it and install it. And uh, if you've got any other previous drivers that are having problems, then uninstall those and then reinstall those here. And you can see that 
uh, tallies up with the same number that we did a search for on Google. And that's basically how you can find uh, those drivers. Very simple and easy to do. And hopefully, once you've done that, all your problems should be resolved. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. A big special thanks to all those who have joined my YouTube members group. It's the join button right near the subscribe button. All these people have joined. We've got three more new members that have joined. So big thank you to everyone who has shown their support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you need any help or advice, you can always pop onto our Discord server. It's free to join and I shall see you on there for a little chat. Thanks again. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.